Look, if you're like me, when you want to manifest something, when something is important to you, whether it's love or money or success, whatever it is, you want it fast. And this is the way to get it. Hi everyone, Robert Zink, your miracle mentor and alchemy success coach. And today we are soaring high like a big, beautiful eagle. We're always flying in the direction of your dreams and goals. High flyers want to remind you that now is the perfect time to claim your 30 minutes of miracle mentoring and alchemy success coaching. Look at, we've helped people in 60 different countries. We can help you too. the money you desire, the love you crave and the health and happiness you depend on. Visit us at law of attraction solutions.com. So if you're like me, you like to manifest fast and sometimes you get a little bit impatient when your manifestation doesn't come about. So we're going to talk about affirmations, but how to make an affirmation really snap, crackle and pop for you, how to make it really work and be fast. I did affirmations that took me two years to manifest what now I would manifest in a day or two. But back then when I was carrying my little gold book around with my affirmations and I was repeating them ad nauseum all day long, it wasn't effective. It wasn't fast enough. It worked. I, I don't doubt that, but it didn't work fast enough. So the whole notion of affirming and changing your subconscious beliefs is more than just standing in front of a mirror and repeating over and over and over again, an affirmation that look at, I'm not against mirror work. I love mirror work, but there's a special way to do that too. I mean, seriously, high flyers done the right way. Mirror work can be very, very effective, but I think that there's a way to use an affirmation and make it work for you even faster. See, the secret is the affirmation needs to penetrate the conscious mind deep into the subconscious mind, and it needs to recalibrate your vibration and your primary beliefs or your core beliefs. Because look at, you can say, Robert, I don't have any counter intentions. I don't have anything, any thoughts that are working against me but that's on a conscious level. That's 8% of your brain. I'm talking about the 92% where you may have counter intentions and counter thoughts and counter beliefs. The affirmation needs to get back there and do the change. Once your belief changes on a deep mind basis, in other words, you believe a whole new reality, then you'll start to see massive change in your manifesting. What happens is you've not only changed your conscious thinking, you've changed your subconscious thinking, but your affirmations have become so powerful that they've literally changed the vibration of your energy field. And that's important because that is when you really begin to see like incredible manifesting changes in your 3d i'm talking about love relationships phone calls text messages money success new cars new homes anything that you can think of you deserve so the real question is you know how do we change to a state an inner state of absolute certainty well we do it through the use of affirmations done in a clear, specific manner. And I'm going to share that with you here. And if you begin using it immediately, you'll see massive results in your manifesting life. So stay with me because I'm going to share with you four easy ways to empower 
your affirmations and get them to really sizzle for you to really work. Because I know you're like me. You want to see something happen and you're about to. So begin high flyers asking yourself this one question. What is it I would really like to see? What is it I would really like to see in my life right now? What do I desire and how would I feel if I already had it? If I had it right this moment, if all of a sudden, right this moment, everything, the fabric of reality just ripped asunder and everything shifted and I had exactly what I want. How would I feel? So a lot of people go right into the affirmation. They get their affirmation and they start reciting them. Some people ad nauseum over and over and over again. You know, I had one client that's, it's kind of crazy, but it's not as crazy as you think, but I don't think it's that effective. He put it on a recorder, his affirmation, and then he left it in his bedroom playing 24 hours a day. He said, look at, it's me saying the affirmation, you know, I'm saying it over and over and over and over and over again. This way I'm saying it a thousand times a day. Why isn't it working for me, Robert? And the answer is given to us by Neville Goddard. Sensation precedes manifestation. You've got to feel it before you receive it. When you walk onto a car lot and you see a car that you just, ah, uh, you fall in love with, you just feel it. And then you, you sit in that car and you feel the leather wheel and, Maybe you take it for a test drive and you go, oh man, I can just feel how good this is in my life. I need this car. I want this car. I crave this car. The feeling, it has to precede the manifestation. It's the same thing with having money in the bank or a text message or a phone call from your specific person. You've got to feel as if you have it before you get it. Your feelings Create the pattern from which your world is fashioned. Neville Goddard. Neville didn't say your repetition, your repetition, your repetition, your repetition, your repetition creates your reality. Neville didn't say saying something a thousand times a day creates your, no, he didn't say that. He said, your feelings, your feelings create, they fashion your reality. They fashion the world in which you live. Second, use vivid imagination. Create a five second, just five seconds, a little movie in your mind that's five seconds long. Maybe you visualize sitting at a beautiful table and there you're wearing your engagement ring. And you're sitting across from your specific person, from the one you love. Maybe you visualize going out to the mailbox and there are all kinds of letters. And as you open them, they're filled with checks and you total them up and they're, you got 10, $20,000. Okay. Maybe you feel that energy of walking into your new home, looking around, seeing that beautiful home that you just bought. You don't know how you did it, but it's yours and it's incredible. And you love it. Feeling, imagining five seconds, create a short, you know, little vignette that you can play in your mind over and over and over again. And by the way, a good time to do that anytime is fine, but a great time to do that is as you're falling asleep at night, because then you implant that into your subconscious mind and your subconscious gets to work with it for about eight hours while you're sleeping. But first, what's number one, create the feeling, feel it, 
Number two, create a short, vivid little movie in your mind. Five seconds, seven seconds. Keep it short. Something that you can play over and over again that excites you, that amplifies your feelings. Step number three, say your affirmation three times. Three times filled with luster and energy and feeling and feel it in your body, feel it in your energy field, feel it in your heart and in your soul as if you already have what you desire. And number four is create space. It's called spaced repetition. It's been proven. You can go on the internet, go on Google and type in the power of spaced repetition. And you will find that it has been proven scientifically to literally penetrate deeper into your subconscious mind, spaced repetition. So I'll give you an example. When I do my affirmations, I do them three times. I feel them. I have my five to seven second little vignette or movie that I play in my mind. And then I may not do them till later on in the day. And then I'll do them again. I like to say three times a day. Coincidentally, if you do them three times, three times a day, that's nine times a day. Look, they're extremely powerful because you're taking the time to empower them with massive amounts of emotion and feeling gratitude as if it's already yours. Now, this is not that difficult. This is four steps that you're going to go through. That's it. And if you'll do these four steps, you will manifest whatever it is you set out to manifest extremely fast. And listen, I'm proof of it. I look at it. I studied affirmations back in the old days when they told you to say them a thousand times and carry them around on index cards. And yes, you know, I was, I was out there knocking on doors as a salesman with index cards, reminding myself over and over and over again, my affirmations and they worked, but they took a long, long time to work. And then sometimes because I had to say them so many times, I just got bored with it. And pretty soon it was just wrote. It was, there was no emotion to it at all. When I learned space repetition, spaced repetition, when I learned that secret, everything shifted for me. Everything became easier to manifest and it will be for you too. Now, one of the things that goes along with this is getting your morning off to an incredible start and keeping it that way, keeping that energy that way all day. I believe that if you have an incredible morning, you can have an incredible day and you can build day after day. The next video is only nine minutes, but it is the most ideal morning routine you can embark on. Here it is. It's coming up next.